Hey, everybody, and welcome to the Slow Smoke Business Podcast. I'm your host, Jared Morgan, and today we have Glenn Gardone on the show. Glenn is the CEO and founder of Red Chocolate. If you've never checked out that chocolate brand, it's fantastic. Not only is it delicious, but it's better for you than the average chocolate. Uh, less bad for you? I don't know. It was whatever. The chocolate is phenomenal, and it's something you don't have to feel guilty about. And Glenn is a delight. He talks about his passion for business and how he sort of is building the life that he wants through building a business that he's passionate about. So let's get five quick minutes with the chocolate man, Glenn Gardo. What led you to getting into something so cool and being an entrepreneur of a product that really everybody can relate to? I met with two families that were master chocolate makers. Cause again, my background is in, you know, food it's in production it's in all the different things the 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 day-to-day operations i guess the best way to put it when it comes to the the beauty of chocolate making unless you've been doing it for some time you know it's it's look if i could do it it would be okay it's like you know my first pulled pork is a lot different than the the pulled pork i did two weeks ago you know the first one was good but it was my first one. And so with this, what I want to do is I wanted to bring out something that the world had never seen. So it took us three years in what we call our kitchen. And we crafted probably 700 different recipes till we got to the one where we said, you know what? Yeah, this makes sense. This is good. Because ultimately, yeah, it's great that you can say you're non-GMO and you're gluten-free. and But like you said, if you taste it and it tastes like you know what? What, what good is it? So we wanted to come up with something that was beautiful. You know, it's funny. I, Our last product we brought out, and you talked about it, was actually is our caramelized white chocolate. This is the 133rd recipe that we did before we said, yeah, this is what we want to do. This is what we want to bring out. And so, and again, we've got 11 global patents, and the 11th patent was actually this product here. We want to do it so it's right. We take our time. Because ultimately, I want to be able to eat it. I want to be able to enjoy it. You know, I am six feet away from about a thousand pounds of chocolate at every time. So I want to make sure I can enjoy it. So despite the fact that you were a food guy for a long time and in the food industry and in in production and everything else, when it came time for you to start a food product, um, you said, hey, I'm not a chocolate guy. And you went and found you are a chocolate guy, but you went and found like people who are really, really good at, at the craft. And I think while that's probably obvious to somebody as experienced as you, um, I think that's a good sort of call out for people that want to start a new project is that you don't necessarily have to be the artisan uh, that creates the thing that you make your business. You know, it's funny. I, I always say I, I want to be the dumbest person at the table. I, I never, I never want to be the smartest, and you know whether it be on supply chain. I've got a person that's worked with me for fifteen years. She's one of the most brilliant individuals uh, uh, that I've ever had the pleasure to work with. You know the folks in my marketing team. I love when when they can come with with ideas that can help us deliver the message. You know, again, the vision, as you said, I had to come up with, and I knew what I wanted, and I knew how I wanted it to look and everything. But you know, taking it from here to actual visible, it's real tough. And that's where I knew, okay, I'm not going to be able to do this properly. I need to get people that have the same type of passion that I do because we are a passionate group. You know, this is not an eight to five role, you know, and and I I work six, seven days a week. People always ask me, you know, how does your work-life balance? I don't even know what the hell that means. I'll be honest with you. I don't, but I love what I do. You've, 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 you've gotten yourself in a good position. Is there advice that you, Glenn of today, Red Chocolate Glenn, would love to give Glenn in his 20s on the on the start? Like, what would you say if you could go back in time and talk to younger Glenn? Probably the first thing I would say is it, it's okay to take a knee, you know, and, and, and because there were a lot of times where, you know, I call it punching through the mud. You know, because, you know, you just got to keep going and keep going. You know, we launched Red Chocolate five months before a global pandemic hit and shut everything down. You know, and we could, have, you know, we could easily said, OK, fold the tents off. You know, circus is going somewhere else. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's OK to take a knee, take a breath, but know that you need to get back up because I didn't take enough knees back then. 
I kept just going through it and going through it and, you know, forcing my way through the situation as opposed to taking a knee, saying, okay, what's up, running it through my brain and saying, okay, here's what we should do or here's what we should try and do and, and going. So I would say that. It's also part of that, you know, uh, life is a marathon. Business is a marathon. It's not a sprint. You know, which I kind of agree with when you're starting a business, you are in a sprint and it's a sprint to save. You know, in the in the early days, I remember telling folks, you know, you know, they tell me about different programs they're going to run and things that we want to do and how it would be great for next year. And I tell them, guys, for me to have a healthy tomorrow, I've got to have a healthy today. And so, you know, I'm not, you know, while while 12 months from now, it's important. Let's worry about the next three months. And then what we did was we were from the next three and then we added four and five and so on and so forth. And now I can sit here and say, okay, I can look out nine months and what are we going to do and how are we going to do it? But if I started that at the beginning, I'd, I'd have failed because we wouldn't have been healthy. So, you know, when you're an entrepreneur and starting up a retail store, it's important to understand your vision and what you're doing, but it's also important to have a healthy today so you can have it tomorrow. Because you could plan for tomorrow, but if today's not healthy, it's not going to come anyway. Guys, if you enjoyed that quick chat with Glenn, make sure you check out the full episode right where you saw this one. There's so much good stuff in there, and we're making some pulled pork with some chocolate barbecue sauce. That was Glenn's recipe that he sent me. So check us out, and if you found some value in this episode, please make sure you share it with a friend, and we'll see you next time on the Slow Smoke Business Podcast. Mm-hmm.